Hello friends, welcome to this part of the video series on chatbot development end to end project. Now we have our chatbot working in our local development environment. What we will do, we will use GitHub to store our code. You can head over to GitHub and create a new repository and there will be few steps to connect your existing code to github you follow those steps and once you follow those steps make sure you use git ignore file to ignore the folders and files that you don't want to push so here i don't want to push node modules dot env file and package dot log package hyphen log dot json file and once you are satisfied you just push the code to github I'll say live recording. I'll commit that and I'll sync the changes. Once you push the code, you will see the code here. Okay, you can see I have this uh, comment live recording. Once you see this, you go to render. Create your account login with either GitHub or Google. Once you do that, it will ask to connect your GitHub account. Once you connect your GitHub account, go to new and under that section, you will see web services. You click on web services, then you select the repository that you want to connect. I want to connect YouTube quiz chatboard dialog flow. I'll connect that. Here you need to provide a name for your uh, application and that will be part of the URL that is created by render. So I'll say Raj Kaparia chatbot demo. There is nothing much to change. Just make sure uh, this start command points to node uh, space index.js which is our start command. I think you don't have to change anything and you hit on create web services this process will take some time so i'll connect once the process is finished now the deployment process on render is finished and we can click on this url to make sure that our web hook is working okay we see the hello world response so we will copy this url go to dialog flow under fulfillment section and we will replace the existing ngrock url with this render url and i'll hit save now we'll go to telegram and let me just delete the chat and i'll go to boat father and to my boat and i'll start the conversation hopefully it will work let's say difficulty level one and voila the response is coming from render and i think in the log section we can see the log that action name uh, user provides difficulty level called and we can watch safe as uh, three side try oh sorry uh, try and go yeah it's the right answer and it will ask the next question so I think this is it from this part of the video. See you in the outro section of this video series on chatboard development end to end project. If you like my work, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and giving a star to this repository. Thank you for watching. Peace.